Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you how you can lock your photos application within your iPhone. Now it's a very easy process. You will have to have the shortcuts application on your iPhone. So if I go and swipe down here, the shortcuts app is this. It's completely free if you already, you probably already have it installed on your iPhone, it comes pre-installed. If not, you can go to your app store and download it there. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application like here. And you want to scroll down until you see accessibility. So it is right here. And then you want to scroll down until you see guided access. So when I click on guided access, you want to enable this setting. So up here, you want to enable it. And you also want to turn on a passcode. So I already have a passcode set up. It's just a bunch of zeros. So you can set up your passcode here too. Now, the next thing you want to do once you have that set up is you want to make your way over to your shortcuts application that we just talked about earlier. So you want to click there. And once you come here, you want to go and click that middle option that says automation. And you want to click on this create personal automation. So you want to click there and you will be able to go ahead and choose the apps panel. So right here, it says app. You want to go ahead and click on the app option, which is right here. And right there where it says app, you want to go ahead and choose that photos application that we talked about. So we can go and click choose. And we want to go ahead and type in photos. So we want to keep scrolling until we see photos right here. And then what we want to do is we want to go and click on photos. And as long as you see that check mark right next to it, you are set. So now you want to go ahead and click done. And at this point, you want to go ahead and click next, which is right there. Now at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and add action. So click on add action right there. And we want to add the guided access action. So we want to go and click on that search bar up here. And we want to go ahead and type in guided. And right there, we should immediately see start guided access. So all we want to do is click on start guided access. And when you do that, all you want to do there is you want to go ahead and click next. And then you want to go ahead and disable this little option that says ask before running. And then you want to go and click done. And when you do that, Basically, what will happen is every time we go into the Photos app, it'll start that guided access option. So we click on you know, the Photos. You'll see this option in the middle. If you see that, you are good. Now, you may see like, hey, the Photos app is still completely working. There's really nothing wrong with that. I don't see what's going on. Well, here's where you can configure it. So if we triple click the power button or the side button right here, so one, two, three, once you do that, you'll basically be able to type in your passcode. So what you wanna do is you wanna type in whatever your passcode you set up earlier. So it was a bunch of zeros for me. And here is where you'll pretty much have to get used to kind of unlocking your device. So you wanna go and click on options, which is down here. And here's where you'll basically be able to go ahead and configure what you want to happen on your device when you actually do it. Now, me personally, I like enabling the side button and the volume buttons, but I disable all these other things, including touch. Touch is the big one. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and click done here. And then if we go ahead and click end, and if we go and hop out of the app like this, watch what happens. If we make our way back over to our Photos app, you can see that if I try to use the Photos app, nothing is working. It is stuck. I can't even swipe to go back home. Nothing is working. Now, if I go ahead and click the volume up and volume down button, you can see this app is still working. I can go and click that side button here and it turns off the phone. But you can see I also can't even like go and use the phone anymore. So if somebody tries to take your phone, the only way to actually go ahead and unlock your iPhone this way is to triple click the power button. So one, two, three. And when you do that, it'll allow you to type in the passcode. And this is where you'll basically be able to go ahead and unlock your Photos app. So you want to type in your passcode, which whatever it was before. And then once you're done, you want to go and click end. And it'll go ahead and allow you to use your phone as you normally would. So it seems kind of scary if you don't know what you're doing. But if you are the rightful owner of the device, basically every time now you go into the Photos app, you'll basically be able to go ahead and type in your passcode. So if you come here, triple click the side button right here, type in a bunch of zeros this way. And then you'll basically be able to click end up here and you'll basically be able to use the Photos app as you normally would. Now, if you want to turn this off, you can make your way back into the Shortcuts app. Go ahead and disable it here. Click Delete. And now every time you go into the Photos app, you can use it as you normally would. So that's pretty much how to lock your Photos app on iOS 15 on any device. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.